Thank you so much, TJ. The September 1st, 2020 meeting of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners will come to order. Please allow me to begin this Board of Commissioner uh, meeting with roll call this morning. When I call your name, could you please indicate your, uh, indicate your presence, Board of Commissioners. District 1, Commissioner Henry Mitchell III. Present. District 2, Commissioner Kelly Robinson. Present. District 3, Terenia Carthen. Present. District 4, Commissioner Ann Geiger. Present. Okay, and Chairman Ramona Jackson Jones, present. We all five accounted and we are, well, we are counted and, and present. Board of Commissioners and citizens of Douglas County, today's meeting is be, being held under the Georgia Open Meeting Act with the use of virtual technology as a result of this unparalleled pandemic. For obvious reasons, to protect the safety and welfare of our citizens, the Board of Commissioners has remained in lockstep with Governor Kemp's executive orders, which end on September 10th. Therefore, Board of Commissioners, our Tuesday, September Board of Commission meeting will be held in Citizens Hall at 6 p.m. Uh, unless something changes from the governor's office. In order to mitigate the spread of this virus, the Board of Commissioners and the executive cabinet and citizens who attend will be required to adhere to the public health guidelines by wearing a mask and social distancing during the event of the uh, during the extent of the meeting. Certainly, Board of Commissioners work sessions are not required by this body. And at the will of this board, I'm asking uh, your request and your I mean, I'm asking for your concurrence uh, with re continuing uh, continuing our work sessions and committee meetings in a virtual setting until the end of this year. And certainly we, we can discuss that further along in the meeting. I just wanted to put that on your minds and give you an opportunity to think. Board of Commissioners, we are pleased to have Rick Martin here this morning, Director of Communications, to lead us in our invocation. And after the invocation, please join me in reciting the pledge to the flag. You have the floor, Director. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. If we may bow our heads, please. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you sharing and living in some difficult times, some challenging times. Tough decisions have to be made. But we thank you, dear Lord, for your protection and ability to have life in the midst of all of this. We pray for our staff, our Board of Commissioners, our city officials, and most important, our citizens. We pray for our first responders as they continue to answer our emergency calls for help. I ask for your divine intervention, Lord. Please take the decision-making power from all of us and take control yourself. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you so much, um, Director Martin, for that powerful and passionate prayer this morning and invocation. Uh, Board of Commissioners, could you please join me uh, pledging to the flag this morning? Ready. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much, Board of Commissioners. Clerk, do we have public comment this morning? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we have Miss Barbara Smith. Okay, if you, if you could, Clerk, could you read? Uh, well, could you just actually please pr uh, proceed with stating our um, procedure uh, with our citizens coming forth and then, of course, yield the floor to Miss Barbara and then we'll go from there. Thank you, Clerk. You have the floor. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, just as a reminder, um, public comment is three minutes. Um, Please just try to keep your comments within that three minutes. If you reach your uh, three minute, I will let you know to wrap up your comments. Um, please state your name and address and the topic you're going to speak on. Ms. Smith, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, go ahead. My name is Barbara Janetta Smith. I reside at 1734 Silver Creek Drive, Lithia Springs, Georgia, 30122. 
the subject that I'm speaking on this morning is the Senior Center and Lithia Springs. Madam Chairman, Commissioners, good morning. Today, I humbly thank you for listening to some of the voices in Lithia Springs through me. Thanks for the opportunity for this subject to be on the agenda today. I do not know what the outcome will be, but God knows. Special thanks to the Park and Recreation Commissioner, Chairman, and Co-Chairman. The mineral water is such a his, an historical feature in Lithia Springs, and I am convinced many were unaware of the wealth Lithia Springs possesses prior to a highlight in South Sweetwater. The interests of the community should be preserved for our senior citizens and the next generations. Please let us leave a legacy for our grandchildren and great grand that they would be proud of. Thank you for listening to me again. Have a great day and be safe. Thank you so Thank much, you. Barbara. Thank you. Clerk, do we have anyone else? No, ma'am, there are no other comments this moment. Okay, thank you so much. We'll wrap up our public comment. And thank you again, Ms. Barbara, for coming in. Uh, we appreciate your participation in county government. Board of Commissioners, next we have the approval of the minutes. Board of Commissioners, you have the commission meeting minutes of August 18, 2020, the work session minutes of August 17, 2020, and the executive session minutes of August 17, 2020, and the special call public hearing minutes of eight, August 18, 2020. Are there any additions, deletions, or corrections that need to be made? None. Yes. Vice Chairman Robinson? None. None. Okay, none. Okay, <laughs> the minutes stand approved. Uh, thank you so much. We're going to move on to new business items. Tab number five, reappointment of Alicia Fawcett to the Douglas County Planning and Zoning Board, effective immediately. Board of Commissioners, do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? We have a motion and a second. Please indicate your response when I call your district and your name. District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell III. Yes. Uh, uh, district 2 Commissioner Kelly Robinson. Yes. District 3 Commissioner Tarini Carthen. Yes. District 4 Commissioner Ann Guider. Yes. Ramona Jackson Jones, Chairman. Yes. We have a 5 0 unanimous vote and the motion carries. Clerk, do you have that on the record? Our vote. Yes, ma'am, I do. Okay, I'll keep moving on to the next item, which is tab number six. Approval to amend the new senior center named to Lithia Springs Senior Center. Board of Commissioners, do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Uh, okay. Um, so who's the so move? Which commissioner? Terenia Carthen. Okay, so move. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Okay. Commissioner, I'll let you go. I said second, but I'll, I'll, I'll let you go. Commissioner, uh, we have a, the uh, so moved, which is the motion, which is Commissioner Carthen. The second uh, is Commissioner Henry Mitchell, the third. Okay. Any discussion, Board of Commissioners? We have a motion and a second. Please indicate your response when I call your district and your name. District 1, Commissioner Henry Mitchell, the third. District 2 Commissioner Kelly Robinson. Yes. District 3 Commissioner Jarenia Carthen. Yes. District 4 Commissioner Ann Guider. My choice to begin with, yes. <laughs> Chairman of the Board of Commissioners Ramona Jackson Jones, my response is yes. We have a 5 0 unanimous vote and the motion carries. All right, Board of Commissioners, we're going to move on to the consent agenda. Please real, uh, know that all the items are on the consent agenda are subject to final legal review. Tab number seven is authorization to amend the Board of Elections budget to accept the CARE grant funds from the state of Georgia for COVID-19 supplies in the amount of $3,251.18. Tab number eight is authorization to accept the dog and cat sterilization grant from the Georgia Department of Agriculture in the amount of $5,000 and amend the budget and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number nine is authorization to renew an agreement between Douglas County Sheriff's Office 
and control concepts for the period of October 1st, 2020 through September 30th, 2021 for $18,720 for building management system preventive maintenance and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number 10, authorization to file con condemnation petitions to acquire the right of way of and or easements on parcel 0025015010 located at zero Stewart Mill Road in connection with the Stewart Mill Road and Reynolds Road intersection improvement project and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Last but not least is tab number 11, authorization to amend the DM and K on demand consulting contract to include services in the project contract administration and inspections service area pursuant to R. FQ-017 as recommended by the Purchasing Oversight Committee and the Transportation Committee and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Board of Commissioners, that concludes our consent agenda. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion on any particular topic or particular item? Okay, we have a motion and a second. We have a motion and a second. When I call your district, please indicate your response. District 1, Commissioner Henry Mitchell III. Yes. Uh, district 2, Kelly Robinson. Yes. District 3, Terenia Carthen. Yes. District 4, Ann Guider. Yes. Okay, thank you. And Chairman of the Board of Commissioners, Ramona Jackson-Jones, yes. We have a 5-0 unanimous vote and the motion carries. Board of Commissioners, we move to our announcements next. I do have the opportunity, I want to at least extend an opportunity for the Board of Commissioners. If you have any particular or specific uh, announcements at this time, certainly you, I want to yield the floor to you. Board of Commissioners, anyone have any special announcements? Okay. Uh, with that being said, uh, Rick Martin, our Director of Communications, would you please read our announcements for the day? We, we, Rick, we can't hear you. I'm sorry. Okay, thank oh, you. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Super. We're going to begin with public comment. Citizens are encouraged and may register to speak for the Board of Commissioners work sessions and commission meetings by emailing Lisa Watson or calling her by voicemail. Her email is lwatson at co.douglas.ga.us and her voicemail is 770-920-7416. Citizens may register to speak at work sessions by 5 p.m. on the Friday before the work session and or by 5 p.m. on Monday prior to Tuesday's commission meeting. As a reminder, the public is invited to comment on any topic at the work session. However, comments for the commission meeting must be germane to the agenda. The uh, Communications and Community Relations Department is producing four virtual September Saturdays show celebrations instead of celebrating in our traditional way on the courthouse grounds to mitigate the spread of COVID-19, the coronavirus. These celebrations will air each Saturday in the month of September on DCTV 23. Each show will have a specific theme honoring first responders, the community, healthcare workers, and our armed forces. The shows will consist with special interviews, musical performances, and special guests. We hope you'll join us and watch on our various platforms. The new Douglas County website will be revealed on Tuesday, September 8th at 4 p.m. We'd like to invite the public to join us for the virtual unveiling on Douglas County's Happenings Facebook page. And on September 12th, you're invited to join Vice Chairman Kelly Robinson for the Douglas County Virtual Homeowners Association Boot Camp from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. RSVP for the event by registering online, and you can contact Ruben Tillman at rtillman at co.douglas.ga.us for further information. I yield back to you, Chairman Jones. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, D Director Martin. We appreciate you rendering our uh, comments this morning. Board of Commissioners, I want to yield back to the comment I made uh, at the beginning of the meeting regarding our work sessions and our committee meetings to continue online. Certainly was looking for concurrence if you would provide certainly I'm at the will of the board. And I'll start with the district one. Remember, I, I'm right now we're planning to return back to Citizens Hall on September the 15th, I believe. Uh, is when our Board of Commissioners meeting and we will return back to Citizens Hall. But for our work sessions, wanted to just feel the pulse of our commissioners for to just again, I'm looking at health and safety, but certainly you may have a different opinion. Uh, I'll just uh, start with District 1 Commissioner just for it's just for work sessions and uh, for our committee meetings to, to the end of the year. Commissioner District 1 just need some feedback. So let me make sure what I'm what you're asking is am I okay with it or something what are you asking yeah just I'm asking I'm just trying to get concurrence for our work sessions just the work session and the committee meetings to continue because because work sessions are not required by this body but uh uh, and also the committee meetings, but I wanted to just continue those virtually to the end of the year. But our board of commissioners meeting, we will be returning back to Citizens Hall on September the 15th. Lisa, am I correct? Is that 15th or the 16th? I don't have my calendar. It's the 15th. Yes, okay, I was correct. So commissioner, the question I, I'm asking you is just, just for the work sessions and the committee meetings. For virtual. You're asking though that that we will now start to come back in as of the 15th if i'm looking at the calendar correct yeah that's that's for the work sessions um not for the work for the board of commissioners meeting because the we i mean lockstep we're in lockstep with governor deal and i mean not deal kemp i'm sorry and his uh, actual his orders uh end on september the executive orders end on september 10th so we were going to return back to Citizens Hall for our commission meeting on Tuesday, September the 15th. But the question I'm asking the Board of Commissioners, uh, and I'm just trying to generate some concurrence, is to continue our work sessions and our committee meetings virtually until the end of the year. Okay, and, and okay, so my thoughts are, and I can't speak for the entire board, I, I would have loved to have some discussions prior to concur I mean coming up with an actual date first second I, this pandemic is not over I think this is the second wave that we're going to start dealing with and to protect not only the board and the citizens I think the virtual side of it works best until we kind of get better control of the hot spots and everywhere else third there's no benefactor because we haven't missed a beat and doing it virtually. So I don't want to be the one, at least I don't feel confident or comfortable enough to be the first to initiate. We're back now. I rather it stay the way it is until we get further data, get further uh, commitment that we are in, in, in a downswing of this thing. But that's just my opinion. If that's what you're asking, that would be my opinion about either starting as of the 15th or not. Um, the governor, that's on him. But I don't think we as a, a commission need to, we need to take the lead, not follow the lead. So Absolutely. that'll be my comments. Okay, thank you, Commissioner uh, Mitchell. Uh, Attorney Bernard, if you just chime in about the Board of Commissioners meeting, you provided some, some just some, some uh, I guess, for framework for me returning for the Board of Commissioners meeting regarding the governor's order. Are you here, Attorney Bernard? Yeah, I am, Madam Chair. Can you hear me? Yeah, but you're a little faded. If you could speak, just try to speak up just a little yeah. more. Is, is, is that better, Madam Chair? No. Yes. Yes. Is that, uh, hold on just a second. I, I'm messing with this. That's that's better. We can hear you. Is that better, yes. Ma Madam Chair? Here, here's what here's what I have said. The way our the way our ordinances read, there's nothing that necessarily prohibits virtual meetings. Initially, I said that you need to be operating either under the governor's emergency order or your own emergency order, concurred by this board, so long as the public was not able to participate 
because the one part of your ordinance that is clear is, is public participation. So to waive that requirement previously, you needed to be under some order. Now that y'all figured out a mechanism to have public comment and public participation during the meeting, I see nothing in the ordinance that prohibits y'all from staying virtual. So, you know, there, there's nothing that prohibits it. So I think it's purely within your discretion if you decide based on what's going on in the with COVID and other things as a basis to stay virtual, I think that's perfectly legitimate. What I did share with the chairman previously is I think any decision short of an emergency decision probably ought to be uh, 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 have concurrence from this body as far as whether it stays virtual or not. But I, I don't, if you're asking me, is there a problem if we stay virtual because the governor's order is expiring, I don't see that as a problem. Uh, there's a public basis for not doing it uh, as long as the public can participate. And it looks like now and last for the last series of meetings, the public has been able to participate. So I'm less, con I'm less concerned about there being an emergency order so long as there's a legitimate basis for what y'all are doing. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Attorney Bernard. Certainly the reason this discussion took place today is as a, uh, as a result of a discussion that me and you had regarding the governor's uh, executive orders end date. And certainly I wanted to make sure I did not uh, violate the law. But with that being said, Board of Commissioners, certainly you know I am so, so supportive of healthcare and wanna make sure that we protect the, the safety and welfare of our citizens here in Douglas County and also the Board of Commissioners and also our executive team that these meetings are working well. Uh, certainly, I'm, I would like to just retract my request for concurrence. And if there's some just some dialogue from the board, if anybody else have an opinion, please feel free to as well. But at this time, uh, just to continue to protect the safety and also to m mitigate the spread of the coronavirus here in Douglas County, we want to be the, the game changers, the trendsetters for making sure we do the right thing in terms of keeping down crowds and we're trying to make sure there's not a lot of congregating in one particular spot. Uh, but I'm still going to move on to other commissioners just to make sure I don't want to just disregard your response. Uh, Commissioner uh, Kelly Robinson, I just want to make sure you, I want to make sure I didn't circumvent your response. No, I'm fine. I concur on the virtual for work session and committees. Can somebody confirm that I thought Governor Kemp came out last night and said that he was extending it until October? I'm not quite certain about the emergency, but I'd like to get confirmation on that. But I have no problem, um, whatever the will of the board is. Okay, that's fine. Good. All right, Commissioner Carthen. Whatever the will of the board is, either way, it's it's fine with me. Um, my my only concern was what uh, Attorney Bernard addressed, which was the constituents. We always want to make sure we have a safe environment for them, and um, those who are manning the courthouse. So, of course, um, virtual would be ideal, but the will of the board. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Commissioner Carthen. Commissioner Guider? Um, I concur with part of it. Uh, the work session, to me, is where most people can voice their opinion about anything. And although we allow it virtually, not everybody has a smartphone. They have a flip phone. My husband's one of them, <laughs> um, and they are not comfortable on the computer. They do. I talk. My neighbors come up here to visit and everything, and they said, "Well, I don't go on the computer." So you've got an element of people that do not have a voice when we do it virtually. Uh, the churches are open. Um, they congregate in the churches, but they spread out. Uh, I think we could do the work session in Citizens Hall and require the spacing out. Uh, the As far as the um, committees, I think, you know, it's, it's better than having people come up there just for a committee meeting if they want to just see what's going on with parks and whatever. But um, I think it's time you go to the stores, you go to the restaurants, you go everywhere, the churches, and they're all open. My Sunday school class is having live meetings and we have 20 people in there. So, um, and we're the elderly. <laughs> so I'm just saying I'm comfortable with opening the work session up 
to the public in Citizens Hall, the committees, I think the virtual uh, meetings are fine because that many people do not attend just the committees. But um, I'd like to see us open up because the rest of the county's opened up. So with that, that's my opinion. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Commissioner. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, Commissioner Mitchell. I, I just, just want to make one last, last comment. And, and to Commissioner Dyker's point, she's absolutely right. Everybody don't have a computer. And some have flip phones. But there is a number that any and everybody could dial in that to be a part of the meetings, to include the committee meetings, the work session, and all of them. So there's, there's – now, if you've got a landline, if you've got a cell phone, uh, you can partake in any of the meetings, whether you're a senior or under a rock. So I, I think you can participate and partake in any of the meetings, um, whether it's virtual or not. But it's from the virtual perspective, I just want to make sure that we're clear that uh, through the technology side of things that we have been – uh, we've added a, a, a number. Am I correct in saying this, um, Lisa, that there's a number that also associate with the invite of the actual virtual meeting that you can partake in any meeting, correct? Yes, sir. There is a number associated with Teams. Um, it's a conference call in okay. number with the, with the caller ID. Well, 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 strangely enough, that's what I'm on now because my computer went wacko and couldn't get on, so I'm actually on the phone. So, okay, that I just want to make sure that we clear. Say again? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That number would need to be, um, would probably have to be published on our agendas or somehow. So um, the citizens okay. would have okay. access to the number or our website. Okay, got you. Because I, I don't know why I thought that there are some times when, when citizens did partake via phone and this like I'm doing now because my computer is down. So, okay, just want to make sure that, that you know, it, it's not as though um, you can't partake. You can, and it doesn't have to be via the Internet or on a computer. So I'll yield, Madam Chair, but that's just, just my opinion. So. Okay, Madam thank Chair. you. Yes. Okay, thank you, Commissioner Mitchell. Uh, Commissioner Robinson? Yeah, I mean, this probably warrants additional discussion. The reason I said that, well, if I come back, Everybody should come back. So I'm ready to open the county back up. So what, what are we really saying? Are we ready to come back full throttle? Everybody back in the office? Or are we just talking about the Board of Commissioners? But I don't think we're there yet. I still want to confirm if Governor Kemp sort of extended that. But we do need to be having these conversations. But uh, again, parts of the county is, is not open yet, right? Meaning um, the public part, um, not, not the county at large. But it's something that, okay, if I come back up, well, everybody else has to come back, right? What, what's the difference, right? I need to have access to directors. I need to have access to other people. So that would be my only condition. It's like, well, if we come back, then we might as well just come back. But I don't think we're there yet. But but it, it's worth the conversation. I yield. Okay, I yield. thank you so much, uh, Commissioner Robinson. You're correct. We're not there yet. Uh, certainly with another wave up upon us as the winter months are, are, are approaching. I see our county administrator's hand. Uh, Mark, has, has those orders been extended by the governor? Could you count? Yes, ma'am. They, they've been extended to October 10th is my understanding. Okay. So Board of Commissioners, uh, I guess that dilutes our discussion. The governor has moved the orders again. So I'll just continue to do, we'll play it by ear. But right now, our meetings will continue to be uh, maintained virtually, and I am certainly on board with that because, again, to protect the safety of not only the Board of Commissioners, but the entire uh, county at large and all of our citizens. Because today, as I mentioned yesterday, we've had 3,100 citizens test positive, and right now, our own we have 64 of our citizens who have uh, died as a result of this uh, unparalleled virus. Uh, with that being said, Lisa, can you please make sure you publish the telephone number on every agenda? Um, make that information uh, available. Rick, if you could, if that's okay with our um, chairman of the um, communications department, are you okay with uh, Rick Martin oh, and the absolutely. team paper well, running? Yeah, the telephone number. Absolutely. Numbers, I, I, and, I, and I guess, Madam Chair, I thought that, that that was what was being done. I didn't realize that it wasn't because 
I'm all in about the citizens taking part in any of the meetings. So it, it's my apologies that it, it, you know, it wasn't being done. I just automatically thought, because like I'm saying right now, guess what? I'm on the phone because I couldn't get to on my computer. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, we, we have a, we have a plan. Thank you so much, Commissioner. Okay. All right. With that mm -hmm. being said, uh, if there's nothing else, I just wanted to remind the citizens to be mindful of the three W's. Please, we would just encourage you to wash your hands repeatedly throughout the day. Also, please uh, wear a mask. Uh, rec it's highly recommended when in public. And also, if you could watch your social distancing. That is so key as we maneuver through this virus. It's very uh, evident that we are not out of the woods yet. You see that the governor is continually moving the needle uh, and given more time because he realized that this virus, if we do take this virus lightly, this virus will take us. And it's evident by all the numbers here in the state of Georgia, and not only that, but in the United States at large. So with that being said, I encourage our citizens to please remain careful and cognizant during this time. And again, I want to extend uh, heartfelt appreciation to our Board of Commissioners as we again double down uh, on our expenses. To, to keep running this county, but at the same time realizing we have to, despite all the falls in our sales, sales tax, everything is declining, hotel, motel, uh, TABT tax, which is tax avalorum, and we have our parks down, we have libraries down. Our revenue has just, we cannot outrun this revenue uh, failure because if, if, believe it or not, this, this pandemic is uh, comparable to a Great Depression, not a Great Recession. A Great Recession is, is minimal uh, compared to a Great Depression. So I'm asking, and I appreciate, again, uh, I wanted to make it public to and, and very clear to our citizens, we have to maintain our services, such as fire department, EMS, when you need an ambulance, we need someone there to pick you up if you're sick. We need public safety there to come to your doors to keep your home safe. And all this right now, we are in this together. And I know there's a lot of uh, concern and ch chatter out there, but we have to keep this government running to provide the services for all 150,000 citizens here in Douglas County. And I appreciate all the, just all the camaraderie, all the concerns and everybody knowing at the same time that we are in this together and together we stand and divided we fall. So I believe that we are unified government here in Douglas County and we will get through this like any other county and city in this nation. Everybody has fallen on their knees. Uh, I thank you so much, uh, Commissioner uh, Robinson, who certainly had to pivot back to my health care uh, era and he said, Chairman Jones, we are in this situation. Uh, we are on a morphine drip uh, simply because Congress is helping us out right now, but we don't know how long that would last. And when you take things and you actually put it in a medical term form for me, I get it real fast. A morphine drip means you feel no pain until the drip stops and then it's a lot of pain. So I do uh, encourage our citizens to please just stay with us, bear with us, the Board of Commissioners are doing everything in our power to manage your money and do the right thing. With that being said, Board of Commissioners, thank you today for your time and talent, and this meeting is adjourned. Thank you.